Good evening or whatever time it is at your location. Today I would like to show you why it's really important that you get yourselves a chain tool uh, checker, a chain wear indicator or however you want to call it. This one is the Roloff Caliber 2 and it's actually really a pretty sweet tool. It's from Roloff if you know the company. They produce really high quality internal uh, gear hubs that go up to like 14 speed uh, internally in the hub. This tool actually is not expensive at all from them, which is pretty amazing. You get this like between 20 and 30 bucks online and this can save you a whole lot of money. So I look at it as pretty, pretty much like an investment of made of hardened steel and actually mine is in pretty good condition. At the shop we have some of those uh, that look pretty beat up, but since it is hardened steel, they won't really um, care. Of course, you should handle them with care because, well, it's it's not expensive, but, but you still want to have it for a long time. And you see on there, of course, made in Germany, A is for um, 0.075 millimeters. And the S is for uh, 0.1 millimeters. And what those indicators are is actually A for aluminum, S for steel. Or of course in German it's the same aluminium or stahl. So what those indicators mean is actually how far stretched out your chain is. So if your A indicator nose drops in like this, this means that your chain actually is worn by um, stretched by 0.075 millimeters and of course the A stands for aluminum so if you have an aluminum sprocket or titanium sprocket you should um, swap out your chain in order to preserve your cassette which is uh, most probably a whole lot more expensive than your chain so just swap out the chain and keep your cassette for a longer time similarly with the S indicator, if your nose drops in, that means that the chain is stretched out by 0.1 millimeters. And if you have a steel sprocket, you should change your chain in order to save the cassette. So it's pretty straightforward with this tool. Um, not expensive at all, but it can potentially save you a drivetrain. So just change your chain when it's time to change it and avoid having to change the cassette and the chain rings too. We regularly have clients who have their chain so worn that they need to replace their whole drivetrain and the service costs just go up to like between four and 600 bucks and that's a whole lot. So a lot of clients actually decide against that and just uh, ride their chain really almost into the ground, rideable at all in the end. And some clients, they choose to replace it all. And then we have the clients who actually listen to our advice and change their chain when it's time. And we can really see how far a cassette can go. You can really run like four or five chains on the same cassette. And if you swap out the chain when it's time, cassette will still be okay. So thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any more questions about this tool, just let me know in the comment section below. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.